So when I left you last, it was Wendy was going to lay an egg any day now. The female great tits eggs were gonna also hatch any day now. And, well, in this video, we get both. Wendy, the following day on the 26th, laid one single egg. And she looks very proud of herself. And these eggs are very precious to these birds. In fact, the rest of the day, Wendy took most of the day hopping in and out of the nest, hiding that egg as best as possible, bringing in new material, new soft material for the nest, and pretty much hiding it from any suspecting eyes um, that would pose harm to these eggs. And I have to say, I really thought this was the beginning of egg laying, as usually they lay an egg a day. But we're going to see um, after this clip that the following morning, I believe there was still only one egg in the nest. So Wendy laid one egg and then took a day off. Now we have to remember that perhaps Wendy is getting on in years when a uh, blue tit's lifespan in the wild is three to five years roughly and we know for a fact or i know for a fact that this bird is a three year old bird so maybe she just needed the extra days of rest now it could be the possibility that we are just not seeing this egg but this is the 27th and you can only see one there and as the days go on and as the footage goes on um, you will see that the numbers kind of add up that she skipped a day in egg laying, which I thought was really interesting. Um, she might have been just feeling the stress of building the whole nest. Maybe she didn't get enough food that day to produce an egg. Maybe she, yeah, maybe the weather wasn't ideal and there wasn't enough food got to produce an egg, a healthy egg. So really interesting, never seen that or noted it before in my own nest box. So I um, thought that was really interesting. And also we can see Wendy does struggle sometimes hopping around to, on the nest. She seems fine on a hard surface, but because she is missing a left foot, she does tend to uh, stumble a wee bit getting out of the nest cup. But Stumbling is all she does. She, it doesn't seem to hold her back too much at all. It's a little bit later in better light. We get another little view of the egg before she hides it. She does make a good job of hiding these eggs. But every so often, she slips up and lets us in on a little bit of a precious view. So much hope put into one little egg in one little nest. They really are stunning little things. And speaking of stunning little things, it's a big day for our female great tit on the 28th, on the morning off at around five o'clock. Just look. Two of the four chicks have hatched. Egg laying going on in one box, egg hatching going on in another. If that doesn't get you to subscribe to this channel, well, I don't believe anything will. And so once the chicks hatch, it is a busy time for the parents. And this is when the male bird starts showing its um, worth in bringing in food for the female. And I've noticed early on that it tends to be the males bringing in the food. It gives it to the female and then the female feeds the chicks. As the chicks are still very much reliant on the female's heat to keep them warm and keep them alive and keep their metabolism going. If a chick gets cold, a cold chick will not feed. And I know this from rearing one or two chicks in the past. And not only that, these chicks can be awful finicky to feed. Newborn chicks don't always know when to gape for food. Their only stimulus right now, um, while being blind, they might be able to see a bit of light and differentiate with a bright and darkness. So when the nest box gets a little darker, when the parents come in, they sometimes react with a gap, gaping for food. Also, the parents are constantly chirping at the chicks. And this is them quite literally training them to gape for food when they hear the chirp. 
And the line between life and death for these chicks at this time of their lives is very thin. A few hours without being fed, a few hours without being kept warm. And these chicks can perish very, very easily. So this is the most crucial time in their little lives and their most crucial time in their parents' lives trying to get these chicks past that highly sensitive part of their lives. But thankfully, I have to say, these pair of great tits, the male and female, seem to be fantastic parents. There is plenty of food being brought in. The female never leaves the chicks for any real length of time whatsoever. We'll see the male pop in now. A nice, big, nutrient-rich caterpillar for one of their newborn chicks. And throughout the day, the third egg did hatch, and then the fourth egg, at around late in the evening, at around a quarter to seven, we see that the fourth egg is quite literally hatching before our eyes. The male grey tit bringing in a bit of food. And then decides to help that chick out of the eggshell. Quite literally only seconds old. A nice big caterpillar brought in. They do try to feed this new chick it, but it's a big caterpillar for a brand new chick. Poor little guy just can't get a grasp on such a big meal. But do not fret, the little guy does get a meal later on. But it's quite funny. It takes a while for the other chicks to catch on that there's food being brought in at all. But eventually, they get the message. And you can see the slightly older chick already. Much more vigorous, much more lively. Just because it probably has a few meals under its belt. A nice big meal for one of these chicks. We also see that the female sometimes opts to eat the food if all the chicks are full. An important meal for a mother who produced all these eggs. And also we see that she also opts to eat the eggshells. So they do this to replace the calcium to make the eggshells back when they were produced. And um, the birds don't actually have natural calcium in them. I've also read somewhere, I cannot remember where at this point, but that they even eat snail shells to get enough calcium to produce the eggs back when they're being laid. So we can see it's important for them here, obviously, to replace that for them for their own strength. And so over the next coming days, we're gonna see these birds continue their journey into bringing new life into the world. The great tits had a rocky start with two eggs being stolen. Um, their, their potential clutch of six brought down to four, but thankfully we have seen that all four have hatched and seem to be doing very well. Fantastic news. And so what about Wendy? Well, she is continuing on the 28th of April to hide her single egg. There may be another one in there, maybe we missed it. Will there be more laid? Well, all those questions will be answered in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying the videos, please give a like, please subscribe if you are watching and not subscribed. It uh, makes a big difference to me. And uh, with all that being said, we'll see you again. Bye bye.